टुडे वी हैव सीन द चैप्टर नंबर 14 ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड मैटर सो फर्स्ट टुडे वी हैव सीन आइंस्टाइन्स फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इक्वेशन the scientist einstein's albert einstein's gives a clue from planck's quantum theory according to planck's quantum theory energy is radiated in the form of discrete packets like shower so each packet is said to be photon so energy of photon is equal to h nu by using planck's quantum theory but we want to see einstein's photoelectric equation this einstein's gives a clue such that when energy of radiation of light is incident on metal see here in this radiation photons are present and when these photons are incident on metal surface in this metal surface atoms are there so electron is present when photon and electron they are collide with each other so that the electrons can absorb all the energy electron can absorb all the energy for releasing photo electrons so what happen this energy can be uses number 1 minimum amount of energy which is use to free the electron from metal surface minimum amount of energy which is used to free the electron from metal surface called as phi means two energies are there or called as work function denoted by phi okay this work function and energy of photon h nu minus phi the remaining energy of these two will be kinetic energy of electron which is maximum we know that if m is mass of electron v is velocity of electron so kinetic energy of electron it will be half m v square for maximum kinetic energy the value of velocity will be maximum so here we can return as h nu minus phi that is half m v square maximum and this equation can represents the einstein's photoelectric equation but we know if the value of phi we know the formula for phi that is h nu 0 where nu 0 is said to be threshold frequency then this equation can be written as half m v square maximum that is equal to h nu minus h nu 0 so this h nu minus h nu 0 if we can take common term that is h energy of electron or maximum energy of electron that will be h in bracket nu minus nu 0 incident frequency minus threshold frequency we know that relation for velocity frequency and wavelength 
c equal to nu lambda. Therefore, nu is equal to c upon lambda and nu zero is equal to c upon lambda zero. So here, this energy becomes half m v maximum square. It will be h in bracket one upon lambda minus one upon lambda zero. This is another term. If we know that if E will be charge of electron and V S will be stopping potential, means we can see the setup of photoelectric effect experiment to study the photoelectric effect. In this setup, when collector is kept as negative what happen electrons are not attracted towards the collector electrons are stop as electrons stop what happen current reduced to zero at this point a potential is there and that potential when current reduced to zero called as stopping potential this stopping potential at this potential so work is done and this work done is stored in the form of energy so electrons are moved again towards the collector and that is the work done or energy that energy will be kinetic energy will be e v s sometimes the stopping potential is taken as v0 so we say that e into v0 so here if we substitute the value of e v s so another term we can say that half m v maximum square is equal to h nu minus h nu 0 or h in bracket nu minus nu 0 or h in bracket 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda 0 so today we have seen einstein's photoelectric equation in various forms Sometimes a question will be asked, state the Einstein's photoelectric equation. So here we can say half m v maximum square is equal to h in bracket nu minus nu zero. Suppose this is in, in the worm form where m is mass, v is velocity, nu is incident frequency and nu zero is threshold frequency. So here, if we substitute the value in terms of wavelength, so here h in bracket c upon lambda minus c upon lambda 0 because c equal to nu lambda, nu equal to c upon lambda. What happened? c get common, so it will be hc in bracket 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda 0. That is also another form of Einstein's photoelectric equation in terms of incident wavelength and threshold wavelength here incident incident frequency and threshold frequency that is second form of Einstein's equation so if we say that energy will be kinetic energy will be half maximum velocity maximum square will be energy of photon minus work function that is also another form of photoelectric equation so here if e is charge and vs is stopping potential so half mv square maximum is equal to e into vs therefore e vs is equal to hc in bracket 1 upon lambda minus 1 upon lambda 0 or h in bracket nu minus nu 0 that is the fourth equation means einstein's photoelectric equation will be different forms For home, for cell study, home assignment is there, two questions are there. 
if we can see the two questions then we can easily remember that Einstein's photoelectric equation. Thank you.